Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Beating Grandmaster with Stupid Stuff. Today we not only have a special challenge as we're going to be playing pure adepts here. Um, with of course the occasional late game unit perhaps mixed in. But uh, every composition is going to be extremely adept based. But on top of that we also are working with a sleep deprived pro gamer. I flew back from Canada today. My flight was delayed by a solid 6 hours. Uh, I did not manage to close a single eye during that time. During my flight, I did not manage to sleep either. So, we're working on very little sleep with a crappy unit composition. And that can only give us, um, well, hopefully, wins here. As our starting opponent is a 6.1k Zerg player um, whose barcode does not have enough L's. This is, <laughs> this is what we re refer to as an idiot barcode. So, in order to create a barcode, what you do is you do the maximum amount of characters and you all make them L's or capital I's. Um, wait, let me build my Nexus. This guy forgot to fill the bar up completely. And, oh my god, I accidentally mined some minerals. It's okay. And I sent another probe down. That is also okay. Life is not easy, guys. Don't forget that. Um, but yeah, he, he, our opponent here messed up his, his barcode. It happens to the best. That makes him very easy to identify as well. If I would care about identifying barcodes. I don't really care about that. Because I, I know everyone's playstyle already. You know, If you have full knowledge, you don't need to know the barcodes. Alright, let's actually uh, focus a little bit on the game. So... Pure Adept. Now, what does that look like against Zerg? I think I kind of want to play it like I'm playing Charge Blink against Terran. Now, this makes absolutely no sense, but what I mean with that is that I want to... Um, I'm going to build some gateways around the map, which is what, you, what a lot of the tosses do these days against Terran. That's what I meant to say. Um... So that's what I'm going to be doing. I just got like a gateway over here, gateway over here. We're just going to be running by with Adepts the entire game. Not just purely for harass. I mean, there's also... Ooh, this seems like a okay, barely working wall. Barely functioning. We could maybe actually get a four Adept start out here. That would be kind of cool. I, I I got some build orders here. I've got I've got build orders for days. Okay, my man has a uh, one of these bad boys on the way as well. We get another gateway. What is that? Okay, that was his uh, queenie. His queen, his queen, his queen. Whoop, into the main base with our adept we go. Now we can finish it, but we can... Boom! <laughs> Alright. We ain't gonna be finishing that, that's for sure. Um, we're just gonna be chilling over here. I actually really wanted to finish that as well, which makes this even worse. Going to move into this direction. Um, this has two reasons. One, I want to get a third base pretty quickly, as you can all see. Did I forget to build my third adapt or my fourth adapt? I think I did. And second of all, I want to start sending this bad boy across the map as well. So the first three gateways finish up here. And I'm just going to continue building this crap as well. I mean, I just... I really did just build a really quick third base, and that is quite useful. Yeah, a dude over here, a little gateway. Now I'm not so sure what else I want to be doing here. Maybe we just. Okay, we're gonna move in now. He has he's no works here. Is he over here? Doesn't seem like the end of the world at least. We get gateway over here. And we probably want to get some some plus one as well. Continuing building more and more adapts. We're just moving out with every single unit that we have. It's not because I think that's not necessarily so great, but... Uh, because I'm too lazy to leave units in the wall. Yes. Yeah, I'll do it anyway. It is what it is. Start warping some units in uh, in different locations. We might get a very fast fort base with this. And we're kind of going to stay on maybe just two gas, huh? Look at this. Oh, this is a build order. Oh, this is a build order. Oh, this is a build. Let's see if he's getting roaches or not. Does not quite seem to be the case, yeah? That's interesting. That's interesting for sure. 
Fourth base, five minutes, 41 seconds. Two gas, baby. That's the future. Two gas is the future. People just don't know it yet. Um, Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this was not brilliant, I have to admit. We can kill some workers here, get a couple of these bad boys. I, actually, I can kill these as well. I actually think I have a pretty decent eco right now. Um, he does have a layer, which is pissing me off at this point. But at the same time, we're getting a crap ton of gateways. We can get a fifth already as well. Like, maybe this isn't even half bad yet. I mean, we're getting a crap ton of gateways. Good eco. Is two gas maybe at least a little bit the future? Let's see if I can actually get a gateway over here like I wanted to. Don't think I quite can. We'll get a second forge as well. Oh, that's beauty. Da, that's beauty. The reason this is so beautiful is because that means he most likely needs to go here with a lot of his units. And then I can hit him where it hurts. And that is in the natural, obviously. Oh, okay. That's not hitting him where it hurts at all. This does not hurt. Uh, it does hurt for me because I'm going to be losing some of my units. Most likely. Let these go into the main. These. Ooh. I see Muras. Now my response could be a lot of things. It's going to be blink. And this is just so I can survive. Like I'm not getting blink to 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 try and win the game here with my blink. No, that's not at all the case. It's actually the opposite of what I want. I'm gonna need some extra gases though, huh? I, I do think I am kind of winning though. I need way more gas as well. Um, more of these. We have too many workers, honestly. Okay. His, uh, his mutas are out already. I do not like how this is looking for me. I do not like the way this is looking. Ooh, okay, he's getting a lot of crap, huh? But uh, at the same time, I mean, he's right now attacking my fifth base. He had no workers whatsoever on his. Uh Ooh, okay, that's also not good. On his fourth yet. If I can hold my fifth, okay, well, I can't hold my fifth. That much is certain right now. I just lost it after all. Um, I do have a. I don't know. Maybe it's viable, or viable, maybe it's possible for me to hold. I just need blink really bad. Hmm. I lost seven workers. Okay, I lost nine workers here. So defensively, we're now semi set up. We're gonna retake our fifth. Okay, we killed one of these. We still need to start continue kind of harassing with adepts, obviously. So these are going to be patrolling this general area. Oh, okay. We see him move out with that. And with my stalkers, all I really care about is just finding his his mutas, I guess. <sighs> uh oh. I mean, we have good upgrades. The problem is, I'm not sure if I can continue affording these upgrades. Okay, well, now that he's over here. Maybe I can do something. So defensively we're doing well, harass wise, I'm not quite sure how well we're actually doing. Is upon us. Our is under 
more adapts are needed, that's for sure. This fifth base is more or less functioning like a bait at this point. Okay, well. Please, please, please recall, please recall. I'm not so sure anymore about this game, guys. I'm not so sure anymore about this game. Um, I mean, we're going to be killing a lot of workers here. I don't think he's realizing that quite yet. We have good upgrades as well. Oh, he's definitely not realizing that. Okay, now he is realizing. And we just lost our base. Yeah. I'm, I'm not really feeling this position no more. Although I do believe that initially... We weren't doing too poor. What's his upgrade? He's only on plus one. We're going to be up, what, four upgrades pretty soon. Does he have any upgrades? Yes, plus one on, uh, on Malay. Yeah, but I don't think four upgrades will be enough, actually. Uh I think we expanded slightly too fast. We should have gotten more gateways and taken it from there. Oh, I had a bunch of stalkers here, which I kind of forgot about. Honestly, this was viable. I really think this was somewhat viable. Look at our early game. We were, we were even in workers, but our mineral income was absolutely bananas. And this was even before I killed some workers here. Did I? No, I didn't kill any workers here. Maybe in the main? No, I end up killing some workers here. I kill like five, six workers. Deal some damage here. I think I should have canceled this fourth base, honestly. Look at this. I'm up 12 workers at this point. Five base against practically four. All he has is Muras. And not even that many, honestly. Yeah, I, sh yeah, I should have gotten slightly faster extra gases and started my stalker production a bit early and we would have been fine. But nonetheless, this is a, an okay first game. I can live with it. And if I can live with it, then uh, that's really all that matters. Minus 31 is, of course, painful. Happens to the best. We'll be heading into our, uh, our second try. See if we can take a game from someone. All right, right now we have a 6.4k Protoss player. Um, and against Protoss, this build, or well, this build, this style might be somewhat viable as well. Um, I really believe that mass adapts, well, I don't want to call it a good play, but it is something that, you know, in, in could work at least once or twice. And no matter how good my opponent is, it's definitely possible. We're going to just open up by chronoing a bunch of adapts, or just at least getting a bunch of adapts. We'll see from there what the actual follow-up will be. I guess, like, adapts into more adapts is kind of the plan for now. If I need to, I can... Always transition into like a robo, maybe do like a, a glaive immortal attack and then into more adapts. Or, yeah, and I think I kind of should be okay here. I've been playing uh, adapt builds before. Now, I've never just built adapts, but I of course can build like one or two stalkers to make sure I don't completely die against any type of oracle play. That would be nice and helpful. This bad boy is going into the mineral patch. Pum, pum, pum. Oh, look at him, trying to micro his best, but my clicks are a little bit too fast today, my friend. <laughs> well, that was sad. Especially as I was, uh, you know, about to start bragging about my fast and accurate clicks. This was the, the type of move you do not want to make immediately after. All right, adapt, adapt. Still should be fine. I kind of want to see what he gets as a first unit. I hope he doesn't wall me out of my own natural. That would suck. Maybe he tries to... I think he's going to try to wall me in here. Isn't he? So we check if it's a sentry or not. does not seem to be a sentry. Stalker, stalker. And we'll just immediately get two adepts out. He'll probably cancel once he sees the two adepts. Cancel this pylon. Okay, it's kind of odd to do this. Um, it's not necessarily bad. It's just a play that we don't see very much anymore. Unless he's over here with his probe. Sometimes they try to build like a, a cybernetics core to block my thing for a very, very long time. That would suck. 
So, because we have four adept right now, he can't really march across the map like a complete idiot with his first two stalkers. That would be very close to suicide. And he can't do it with four stalkers either, because by that time I'm going to have six adapts. And if he moves across the map with six stalkers, I'll have eight adapts, etc., etc., etc. So we're just kind of chilling at home, not doing much of anything. I do want to get a robo. Mm, actually, let's get a twilight. And the goal with this twilight is different than with most twilights, because it's just going to be a twilight for glaives rather than for blink. So. Um, he might actually get a little bit confused there. I hope I'm not being one base all in. That would be the worst case scenario for me. Does not seem to be the case. The timing of this hallucination seems to me like he's playing Stalker Stalker into Sentry Sentry. Something along those lines. And if I see a second Sentry, I can cancel this. Okay, I don't see it. In that case, I don't actually completely want to cancel it. Um, just... Because they're like the battery that is. There is a risk that he is playing Oracle still. Although it is pretty unlikely with five stalkers out already. And this was pre his first warpin, I think. So he must have played Stalker, Stalker, Sentry, Stalker, Stalker, Stalker. Or Chronod on the warp gate once. Also possible. I mean, there's a lot of things are possible in live, of course. He's blink already? Wait, how fast was his blink? Calm down, mate. Okay, I'm just going to shade into his natural. Now, this sounds stupid, but it will force him to go back home, I think. Wait, he actually is doing the opposite of going back home. I saw him blink across the map. Okay, here we go. Where's all my units? Here. Oh. We're getting a lot of kills right now. He was not paying attention there whatsoever. I wonder if I can just go back into the main base and start dealing with this crap over there. Does not seem to be going too hot for me, honestly. Maybe I should have recalled, actually. I wonder what would have happened had I recalled. Seems like that definitely would have been the play here. I think... Yeah. I killed a lot of workers, but not enough. He also had a proxy gate. His build order pretty much hard countered mine, though, because he went Twilight Council before Nexus. And having a really fast blink against Adept Adept is crazy good. Like this is a this is an absolutely terrible build order if I play like Sentry Stalker Opener or Stalker Stalker Opener or Adept Adept into Sentry. Just literally anything but eight adepts. It might be okay against some Oracle builds as well. I, I'll have to admit that. But the rest of this build is really easy to scout because you can't afford too many workers. So you figure it out real quick with any normal hallucination scout build, which is like 99% of the builds. This build sucked a proper amount and I lost to it. Um, but I, I really do believe this was viable or at least somewhat playable for me. It felt somewhat playable for me as well. Yeah, I'm not worried. We're, we're just going to search again. I'm, I'm definitely going to win at least one game today, but probably even two. Because th this feels somewhat okay. Like, these guys are good, you know, 6-5. I'm, lo I'm lower MMR than him already. Usually this game was close, so I feel good about this. Uh, let's try again, and we'll get the next player. Trust me. Trust the process. All right, friends. This time my opponent is Christianer here. A uh, solid 6.5k Protoss player as well. So really hitting the, the high-level TOS MMR at the moment. Nice. Uh, the the last two games were warm ups. You know, you you always need a couple of a couple of warm up games. Sometimes I warm up entire days if I don't win any games. You know, yeah. Make sure to always have an excuse ready as well. You know, and the warm up is one of these excuses that can be consistently used in a row as well. I've had weeks where I was just warming up. 
going down six seven hundred mmr on the ladder in a couple of days you know just a, a warming up week for the the week after where you regain 200 mmr slowly but surely um so the first two games here were just warm up but now i'm going to to start trying for real against christianer I, I need some points definitely going to need some points now the beauty of opening up with adepts is really in the fact that you can maximize mineral income as well because minerals uh, is really all you need when you're playing adepts like you don't need anything else at least not that i'm aware of like you, you get a couple of adepts life is good for you you know it's, it's fantastic even so whoop get this bad boy over here Boop. Yeah, lots of minerals. He's also starting to harass a little bit, but he's not as good at harassing as I am. Look at my probe go, man. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's gonna send his own probe. He's losing mining. Meanwhile, I'm not losing anything at home. Oh, boom. Go somewhere else, mate. You don't belong here. This is my house. It's my house. I wonder what he's gonna do. Oh, he's already walling me in. I don't actually care too much about this. I could also wall him in, but you know, I'm I'm all for uh, for letting people leave whenever they want to leave. You know, he can, he can, if he wants to get out of here, he can get out. He, he's gonna stay. Why are my adepts like five seconds too late as well? He also opens up with adepts. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do this game? I'm going to do the same thing that my opponent did last game. So I'm going to. This is this is kind of a, a revolutionary idea that I just had. We're going to just open up with some heavy glaive adept pressure. Why were my adept so late? Was my first was my cybercore late or my first gateway? Oh. I was very afraid he was going to uh, he's going to let it finish and I would not be in time with a wall there. I mean this was just a mistake out of him, no? I don't want him to see that uh Hello? A move? Why am I not A moving? Wait, it felt like my A move wasn't working. On these on these adepts or on these probes that was weird they were walking like idiots i wonder why that was i bet it's something buggy going on in my game oh, and just like that i have another excuse in case i lose life is so good being me excuses just hand themselves onto an, a big golden platter when you're playing so you never have to take personal responsibility for any of your losses that way you also never improve but improving is for losers now that sounds stupid but if you're a winner, you don't need to improve because you're already the best. So it does make sense. And thus, improving is for losers. That's why I also never read self-improvement books. I only read winner books. Books about, you know, winners of everything. I read a book about Tiger Woods written in 2002. God, that guy can do absolutely nothing wrong in his life. Oh no, I built a sentry and a stalker. Unintentional. Unintentional, my bad. Where are you at? Hello? This guy's having a blast. Did he forget to cancel? No, he did cancel it. You think I can kill this? No way, right? So this looks stupid. These two adapts, but they're actually game-changing adapts. He's I really wonder what's happening here. You hate to see it, but this is death. I'm gonna get two batteries, huh? Is he base trading me or? He's base trading me. Okay, come on. Fight, fight. He blinked in, no? He blinked in. Yeah, he blinked in. Start. He needs to start attacking my batteries at some point. Or he's just going to die. We have so many adept right now. What a build order, Kevin the Koning. What a build order. Okay, and this is the plan. This was the plan. So, I kind of figured out that this is what he was going to be doing. 
I figured out pretty fast. I'm I'm really fast at figuring stuff out. And then wait, he's not. Wait, well, in my mind, he wasn't supposed to let that thing finish. But yeah, he's he's taking it out. I probably need one of these as well now. One, you go die. There you go, buddy. Mm, I don't like how this is looking. Oh, forgot to blink away. He has a lot of units, actually. But we have one Immortal. Immortal for safety is allowed. If I'm winning with my mess adapts, I decided that I'm allowed to build whatever I want afterwards. As long as I'm initially winning with my adepts. I definitely won with my adepts here. Um, like, this is defensive. Too many games have been lost because I stubbornly decided to continue building units that don't do anything for me. Oh, that's... It. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good stuff there, buddy. That's good stuff indeed. Yeah, I can blink in. I know you want to. I know he wants to. You can feel it, you know? Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna go. He's gonna go. I mean, once we get, once we get three of these, it's game over, no? Three immortals. Oh, he's gonna try to uh, hit my main base. Oh, that's kind of cute. Here it is. I see everything, mate. Ah! You guys go here. Look at him. No shot. Truly no shot. I. You know what wouldn't surprise me here, actually. If he uh, if he tries to uh, to expand behind this, so these these four adapts are going to be the most important adapts you guys have ever seen in your life. No way he blinks up, right? No, no way he blinks up. Aye, aye, aye. These adapts are going in for the base straight, going in for the base straight. I don't think this is good actually. For me, that is. It's a lot of crap. He also... I don't know if I'm winning or not. I think I am still. He's gonna blink in at some point, no? We'll see if he has a Nexus or not. Oh, he definitely has a Nexus. Yeah! <laughs> Build orders, baby. Build orders all day. All night, no problem. 29 points in the... 27? It's too little. I want more. I want more of your points, Christiana. And I'm going to come and take them from you right away. So that's two losses, one win. Now we're at least going to even this out. I have a very good feeling about this build order, or about this, this style in general. There we go. I hear the noise. <sighs> okay. Christiana again. Now it will be harder the second time around, so we need to have a have, have a bit of a, a twist in there. You know what I mean? Now I I'm the king of the twist, and I'm not talking about the dance move, uh, the twist, but just you know twist in my gameplay. And I think what we might oh, we don't get a good luck at fun. Interesting, interesting, very interesting. The, Mental note. Make a mental note of that. Um, now, what was I going to say? Right. The twist. Now, that will be a proxy or a normal robotics facility. No, we're, we're going we're gonna to proxy a robo. This is like 50 Shades of Adepts. Oh, my God. That's a great title for a video. 50 Shades of Adepts. How has no one else thought of that yet? Um... And what I'm gonna do is I will uh, so I've now done like regular adapts. I now done glaive adapts. Now I want to do dropped adapts. You know, this is uh, the most powerful of all adapts. I get two adapts into his main base at a timing where he would not expect it. And the way I do this is by proxying a robo. And even if he scouts the robotics facility, he will still not be capable of doing very much about it because it's going to be over here. 
I think that's the plan. I know that's the plan. So he's probably doing a second pylon scout as well. Over here. Oh, I could do it here. This is I like that position slightly more actually. It's just a little bit closer. Can I proxy something here? What's this? Uh, it doesn't look super tight. Uh, we're gonna make it. Life is okay. 18 seconds for a pylon. Here comes his scout. So we know he isn't proxying. That's important because there's no way um, that I can imagine where I would stop any type of proxy Stargate opening up with 12 adapts. He might decide to play Stargate though. That is completely possible, of course. We're just gonna open up with a bunch of adapts again. One more time. And literally the only thing that this is for is getting a prism with a couple of adapts in his main base. Nothing else. This is this is all there is. Literally all there is. This probe movement is very, very suspicious. I would immediately start looking over here and here. But then again, it's it's hard to say where probes come from at times. Adapt, 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 adapt. Ooh, stalker, 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 stalker. Twilight Council? Christianer. That is very oh so cheeky of you, my friend. You're gonna play one base Twilight Council? That is an illegal move, I believe. Rumor on the street is that that actually is an illegal move. Now, I'm not one to complain about illegal moves, because everything I do is illegal. Uh, but... Think first. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting giddy with excitement. And usually that is positive, but I can change the meaning of the word. Uh, for me, giddy means I'm afraid of what's going to happen next. Because I don't think it's going to be very good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually believe it's going to be real bad for me. We're gonna get an immortal from here. Just just one for safety, you know. The immortal for safety, an absolute classic. I was going to send this one across the map. Just rally this home. It's allowed because it's a safety immortal. Um, ooh, actually, we want to get another one of these. Hardly get any workers. You go back home. Pretend like we want to drop in his main base, which we do, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. You think I was born yesterday? The <laughs> king's just waiting for me. <laughs> That's so sick, actually. I love that. I kind of do love that. But also, it's 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 not cool, you know. Oh, he has a nexus already. Wait, is he a hat? Why is he not building any workers? Well, it doesn't matter because we're sending these across the map right now. So if he ever does end up building some workers, he's going to be in some major trouble because it's natural. What? Oh, he believes I'm one base all landing him or what? What is the perceived situation here for him? Because I'm not so sure. Oh, nothing there. <laughs> nothing to kill. Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to kill. Nothing to kill. And we go back out again. The fact that I have full vision of his main base is a real issue for him. And the fact that he's not aware of that is an even bigger issue for him, I think. He's not building any workers no more. I repeat, he's out of workers. That's exciting. Okay. If I had two batteries here, would he have just died? I think so, no? I'm slightly too slow with my second battery. That's really the only issue I had. I mean, he, he has no other crap. Literally nothing. I even could have gone for Dark Shrine behind this, but I didn't. So now I'm dead. Look at this, I was up 15 workers. I count this as a win as well. So 2-2. Two, two. 
And with that, we're going to be ending today. What do we get? Minus 17. It is what it is. 63-60 is what we end with. We won two games. Although we got minus seven, we're in three out of the four. A good try, though. I, I, I did like this. I think I will revisit this for sure in the future. It had some real potential. I kind of want to play it against Terran as well. But right now, it's not a good timing for Terran. As Terrans have a very small window in which they play every day. They play like two games. They hit one Protoss player, and then they tilt out of the world. And then they need to sleep in order to kind of regain their focus and their, their will to live again. And I think I've already missed that window. So there's not going to be any Terrans on the ladder. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks everyone for watching. What is this? Did I just log out? Did the season just end during this game? Very unfortunate. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm not sure what happened there with the ranking, but I hope to see you all next time for a new video. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to leave a comment as well, suggesting a new challenge for beating Grandmaster with Supercell. Thanks so much for watching, and bye-bye.